I would like to request our Dean IRA to speak a few words. Respected Professor Ananda Mohan Ghosh, Head of the Department of Electrical Engineering, Professor Anindita Shengupta, our guest speaker, Ms. Sumita Dottonak, who is the Chief General Manager of DVC, our, my beloved Aurobindada, because we have taught together, my ex-colleague of Gabesu, Secretary Gabesu, members of Gabesu, my colleagues, present day colleagues and ex-colleagues, because I am here in this institute for the last 35 years. So I have taught almost with everybody present here. A very good afternoon to all of you. First of all, I would like to thank the Gabesu and Electrical Engineering Department of this institute jointly for conceiving this lecture series, Legends and Legacies, and in the memory of none other than Professor Shen. Because if it is to be from electrical engineering, then the first name that comes to our mind is one and only Professor Shankar Shen. I am unfortunate in one way that uh, when I joined here in 1988, October, by that time, Professor Shen has retired. So I did not have a chance to talk to him personally. I saw him once or twice when he came to our institute, but it is my misfortune, I consider. If, if one starts talking about Professor Shen and his achievements, it will be an endless thing, two, three hours will fly away, just like that. So I will not try to make an attempt to do so. Rather, I would try to highlight some of the salient points that is there in his career or character or personality in various forms. I am very much thankful to Professor Gautam Bandhavadhyay who has given me a lot of knowledge over telephone regarding this. First of all, Professor Shen is a brilliant student. He is a gold medalist from 1944 to 1948. And you can understand this. When he joined as a faculty in 1956, I, uh, yeah, 1956 he joined this. Before that, as our head of the Department of Electrical Engineering said, he was here for, as a, some research fellow and subsequently he went to Imperial College London to pursue his PhD under a great professor, Professor Atkins. That, was, must, that has must been a great work, although I don't know about it. And after that, he came back. Just imagine the sacrifice and uh, selflessness of this person for his country that he went abroad, did excellent job, a brilliant person, he could have stayed there. And he could have excelled there also very well. But he did not care for that. He came back to his motherland to serve his country. And not to any other institute. He never switched to any other IITs or IISCs which he could have done very easily, but stayed back in his alma mater. That's a great thing. We should all learn and cherish our. Professor Shen was a brilliant student, a brilliant teacher, a brilliant academic administrator, and also a general administrator. In all these, he had excelled like anything. So I am extremely thankful to the Gabesu and Electrical Engineering Department for organizing this memorial lecture in the name of Professor Shankar Shen first. That should be the first lecture. Uh, at the later life after retirement, uh, Professor Shen uh, became vice chancellor of Jadavpur University, another seat of great, uh, a great seat of learning, and also became subsequently the power minister of the state. And what he did 
uh, in this capacity that is also known to all of us at the same time at the same time he also did he did not compromise anything and that's why in his second term he left it he did not care for the position or for the chair he had an altercation and the man of principle that he was he left the post immediately one contribution of professor shen i would like to highlight before concluding that is this institute has seen many conversions we were a government engineering college we became a deemed university we became a university then now we are in iist shibpur i consider personally out of all these transformations the most major and important transformation was that from the college to a deemed university because there we got true academic economy and you will know that semester system was introduced after the conversion of that we got freed from the calcutta university we became academically on our own we introduced semester systems and lot of academic improvements followed that during the transformation there was lot of debates and other things that usually happen during any kind of conver conversion during that conversion also it happened and i remember one meeting with the then principal professor b shen bimal shen he came to our institute he came to our department mechanical department and uh, many senior colleagues were asking him that what will happen to us what will happen to our retirement benefits everybody was bit doubtful so professor bimal shen only said a uh, one sentence or two sentences that he said three persons want this one is professor shankar shen he wants this institute to be a deemed university second one is ashok chatterjee the then higher education secretary and number three the chief minister jyoti bosu so these three persons one and if you believe if you have any faith in them then don't worry you will you will not be diverted from anything all the benefits and other things will be taken care of and that exactly happened yes it took some time but it did happen but the benefit was tremendous this was the vision of this person professor shankar sir a great administrator a great visionary in not only in electrical engineering but also in every arena so i will not spare much time but i will i am also thankful to the speaker uh, who has in spite of her busy schedule uh, she has agreed to come over here and deliver a lecture it might be a very interesting topic i don't know much about this so uh, you all enjoy this all electrical personalities uh, to this for this lecture okay thank you very much thank you sir for your insightful talk now